landmark apartment. This is their studio floor plan. A great industrial feel. You see a lot of the exposed metal T-beams, I-beams, stained concrete floors, a lot of brick, metal, but still enough sheetrock to be able to hang some artwork. The cabinets are really nice. The cabinets themselves are 42 inch. Uh, this one, you can see where we have a tiny little bit of a brick backsplash, but that was uh, what was existing. Uh, each floor plan is going to be unique and it's brick to steel to sheet rock construction because it was built around, so we just have to see what that looks like in the future. Uh, cool little wine rack above the fridge. Stainless steel appliances, uh, it comes with a microwave and a smooth cooktop. But plenty of cabinet space, plenty of pantry size. And it has a nice big kitchen island in the center. Dishwasher. Yep, that's the dishwasher. But pretty nice. Okay. Uh, the living room area is listed as being 20 feet by 13, so if you can imagine a long wall stretching out behind the couch, right, it'd be just as big as my living room is now, but it would be interesting to see how everything plays out once I get everything in here. We could see out the window, we're right above the tree line, we're above the roof line, we have some pretty awesome views out the back. I mean, you can just sit here, look at the clouds, blue skies. You get actually a little bit of a hill view. That just goes off as far as you can see. See off the side, you got the little park. Of course, if you look down, you know, we do have the parking lot, the structure at the far end. Uh, you can see the little power plant dealy, right? But the nice thing about it too is the sun's coming down, the sunset's going to be right there. It's actually going to be pretty dramatic. It'll look really nice. Now the unit that I'm looking at is the one that's right to the right of this building. So the views are going to be shifted just a little bit. But essentially this is what you're looking at. Okay. So looking back, uh, we do have rather tall ceilings in here. Uh, they look to be about 10 feet, right? Your doors are seven, right? So you got a good amount of space. Uh, each room has its own AC unit. Your thermostat controls are right there. There we go. And really, it's a, it's a studio, right? It doesn't have a wall going into the bedroom there, but you know, you just make your bed. It's not bad, not that bad. Uh, that looks to be about a clean size bed, so my bed would be about the same size. Wouldn't be too, very doable, very doable. We have our hot water tank in here with a little bit of additional storage. I can always toss the signs and whatnot down there. Here, right, the sink is huge. It's a single sink with a lot of counter space, right? with actual usable drawers. Look at that. That's the first. Okay, nice light fixtures, right? Uh, once we get in here, inside the bathroom itself, which is actually kind of a smart idea, we have our washer and dryer, which is stacked. If we look up in there, uh, yeah, just some ductwork, right? But the humidity and moisture coming from this is going to be picked up by the fan there, so that's actually kind of a smart idea on their parts. And we have a nice big walk-in shower with a bench area, which I actually fit in, which is rather nice. Uh, shower head, you know, is the correct height. Don't have to bend down. And our great big walk-in closet. Two huge racks and plenty enough space along the other side for, I don't know, storage. But really not that, you know, not too bad. Really not too bad. Actually rather nice. I think that's good. I mean, 
Uh, one thing I was worried about is with the windows facing this, you know, it is, you know, uh, coming up right next to them, it really doesn't feel very warm. It's not really too warm to the touch, right? And it's actually 95 degrees outside, right? You could feel the sun coming in a little bit, but that's really not too bad. And if you notice, these are double paned glass and they're actually pretty thick. So the glass windows we have in these rooms, right, are rather insulating. So it's really not that bad. And, you know, I could see, you know, and if it does become an issue, right, complete light cancellation, these blinds. That's actually pretty nice, pretty nice. But yeah, plenty of little areas to kind of decorate and have fun with. And I think it's gonna look nice. It'll look nice once I get everything moved up. Yeah, and so concludes the tour.